Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Nalo and I've been gone for a while as you can probably tell. So to kind of explain where I've been, I actually moved out so I actually went back to my original house and I did that for the holidays so I was gone without my PC for quite a while then. And then once I got back I got what is running around right now and my throat felt like the bard from the first season of The Witcher. So clearly I couldn't make any videos. However, we're back now and here is a brand new video on the upcoming coming Chinese New Year and if that's going to be a good opportunity to invest into. In my absence, the Dreams and Nightmares case finally released and as you can see on the screen right now, I'm not very lucky on just one case. Regardless, I think there's some cool items in that case and I think that CSGO is taking things in the right direction with all of these unique skins. Anyway, let's jump into this topic and you can go ahead and watch my very lackluster rusty surfing in the background. But first, one quick word from a sponsor. The sponsor for today's video is Shadowpay. Shadowpay is a website you can go to to get real money for your CSGO skins or you can go ahead and buy CSGO skins on their website. If you want to deposit on the website, you can always use my code NALO to get a deposit bonus on Shadowpay. The website is easy to use, it's fast, and it has a great Trustpilot rating, it's very secure, and they also have an extension you can also use to make the trades easier. If you don't want to wait for anybody to buy a skin off a marketplace, you can go ahead and use their instant sell feature to instantly get money for your skins. There's a lot of features on the website, it's a great site to use when you're cash trading your CSGO skins, so if you want to go ahead and check out Shadowpay, be sure to use the link in the description below for a 2% deposit bonus. With the start of 2022 also comes the Chinese New Year in February 2022. We're getting pretty close to it, so it's time to talk about some investment potential that the CSGO market has during this time of the year. Chinese New Year 2022 actually starts on February 1st, and with red envelopes filled with buff balance, there's probably going to be a decent spike in some parts of the CSGO market. Before we get too deep into it though, I wanted to address some news that was floating around at the end of last year in regard to China actually banning access to Steam. This was a sort of complex ban, but for all intents and purposes, China is actually not banning Steam, and Chinese users that play CSGO at least still have access to Steam and CSGO and the CSGO market as a whole. However, one quick note, if this is any indicator of how China feels about Steam, this could potentially mean an actual ban on Chinese Steam in the future. So at the moment, we'll just have to wait and see. So what should be your target for investing if you're trying to make money during the Chinese New Year? Well, for starters, I think one of the main areas is going to be newer, more recent Operation skins, specifically the high tier ones. The reason for this is because obviously these are newer skins, and since since China's had access to Steam and the market for a long time now, they've already kind of built up inventories of a lot of the high tier older skins like Fire Serpents for example. So I think when it comes to holiday celebrations like this where more money will be spent and more money will be put into the Steam market, they're going to go for newer items, not items that they already have. Old high tier skins like Dragon Lores, Deagle Blazes, and Fire Serpents still have pretty good mass appeal and they probably still will see some decent spikes come the Chinese New Year provided the market actually gets out of the current rut that it's in. On that note, it's kind of hard to say when stuff's going to have a positive increase again. Obviously Chinese New Year could be a catalyst for this and I talked about this in my previous video, but many big events have already happened that should make the CSGO market increase and they really haven't done very much to it. So again, like I said in the previous video, we'll just have to see how things play out. Provided the Chinese New Year is the catalyst though, right now is a pretty fantastic time to buy into because items have been going down for quite a while now and well, that would figuratively mean that we're in a dip. Basically, to sum it all up, there's still quite a lot of uncertainty when things are going to turn around, but if you do ascribe to the belief that the Chinese New Year is going to boost the CSGO market upward, then in that case, right now is a good time to buy in. Firstly, I want to talk about cases. Cases have been something that have been sort of a hot topic for a while now. A lot of people will talk about cases because they're pretty cheap, you can buy a whole ton of them, and they have pretty good track records since they are pretty much guaranteed to gain value once they go into the rare drop pool. There's not really much finesse and there's not really a whole lot of barrier to entry when buying into cases, as again, they are cheap. Plus with storage units, you can buy an absolutely huge amount of them, which means you can take advantage of the multiplication effect and basically just multiply any profits that you get. The best way to find data and information on cases is by using CSGO databases page on cases. They're going to be a great resource for determining rare drop pools, prime drop pools, and other information related to cases. The best strategy when it comes to investing into cases is to try and buy a case that you think is going to go into the rare drop pool at some point in the future. After you determine what case this is, you can go ahead and buy a large quantity of it, and if it does get added to the rare drop pool, you will obviously see some gains. Even if it doesn't get added to the rare drop pool though, you can still see some increases in the case price, but overall they're a pretty safe thing to hold on to. 
even if the red drop pool is a little bit weird with the way it determines which case is going to go into it. Obviously the more recent a case is, the less it's going to cost, but the longer it's going to take for it to get added to the red drop pool. The reason I bring up cases, even though this is for Chinese New Year investing and there was just recently a new case released and therefore a new case added to the red drop pool, cases are still a solid investment for the Chinese New Year because even if they don't increase due to the Chinese New Year, they're still going to be a good long-term hold and pretty safe regardless of market conditions. Another safe long-term investment would be the Operation Riptide Pass. Passes have historically been one of the safest investments in CSGO, but they do take a long time to accrue value. Now onto the more uncertain but potentially higher return investments. For one, we just have general old high tier items. This is stuff like Deagle Blazes, Glock Fades, Fire Serpents, Dragon Lores, basically anything that is kind of seen as iconic from the old days of CSGO. High tiers historically perform pretty well over the Chinese New Year, but as this is a more uncertain time in the market, this may not be reflected this year. It is possible though. I think if we're lucky we'll see a good 15% return over the course of the Chinese New Year on high tier items, but it's all going to depend on how good of a catalyst the Chinese New Year is on pushing the market upwards. I don't personally recommend going for high tiers at the current moment as they are extremely expensive to buy into, and there's a lot of uncertainty associated with them right now, but I wanted to mention them simply because of their good history in tandem with the Chinese New Year. I would definitely recommend a more safe investment like the passes or the CSGO cases. Recent Operation High Tiers on the other hand I think are still going to be a good option even with the uncertainty. I think the recency is going to work in their favor and I think there's going to be larger demand for them from the Chinese community as opposed to older high tiers that most big Chinese collectors already own. Specifically Riptide skins are probably going to be the cheapest and are also going to probably have the most potential as they are the most recent, but I wouldn't be surprised if Shattered Web also saw some sort of spike for the specific reason. Keep in mind that the operation isn't over yet, but we're on the last week so it will be ending soon. Now if you're an investor where your pockets run pretty deep, another thing you could potentially look into here is anything related to Cato 14 or potentially Cato 15. Chinese collectors also tend to be into those items, so maybe there is some potential for the Cato 14 market as a whole over the Chinese New Year. Obviously this one has an extremely high barrier to entry though, so if you're not at the level then you're out of luck. Cato 15 obviously has a lower barrier to entry, and frankly the Cato 15 market has been doing pretty good, but it's hard to say if that's even due to any Chinese collectors, because Chinese collectors tend to be into even higher tier things. I would probably stay away from tournament stickers after Cato 15 though. So to recap, Chinese New Year 2022 is coming on February 1st. It'll last for about two weeks. This is the part of the year where the Chinese collector community will probably be most active. However, because the market hasn't been doing so great, there is obviously the chance that nothing really major happens anyway. However, in the case that it does, your safer investment options are going to be stuff like cases or the passes, as even if those don't see a rise during the Chinese New Year, they'll probably see rises throughout the latter part of the year. Your more uncertain investments are going to be stuff like Operation Skins, specifically the more recent ones from Operation Shattered Web up to Operation Riptide. If you have a desire to buy even more expensive skins though, you can always go with really high tier stuff like Howls, Fire Serpents, Glock Fades, Dragon Lores, things like that, OG high tier skins. Or you could focus more on the sticker side of things with Cato 14 through Cato 15 stickers, as those have historically also been popular with the Chinese community. Overall, I think those are your best options if this is going to be an opportunity to invest. Decide for yourself if you think this is actually going to be a good catalyst for the market, because at the moment moment, it's way too uncertain to say if this is really going to pull us out of a lull. Anyway guys, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. Gonna be uploading more frequently in the future, so be sure to click that subscribe button for the best investment tips anywhere else on YouTube, and also be sure to check out my Discord and Twitter in the links below, and check out the link to ShadowPay for a deposit bonus and the best way to get cash for your CSGO skins. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time, peace.